In this video, we will be taking a look at arranging a track in GarageBand iOS, but you can use the same kind of things for pretty much any other uh, type of DAW that you may be using. It's all about finding the parts of the songs that work in the best places and uh, trying to kajigger everything to make it all sound cohesive. Uh, welcome to Studio Live today. If it's your first time here, my name is Pete, and on this channel, uh, our goal is to help you create, record, and release your best music. And at the moment, we're working on a track. It's a track that looks a little bit like this one here. It is, uh, it's at the moment, it's called um, Toxic Ego. And uh, we started uh, We started by writing a, a little bit of a, what, what I thought was going to be the hook. So this is sort of the starting intro bit that we have down here. It goes like this. So that was kind of what this was all going to be built around. And the reason I wanted this to be uh, more of an electric guitar driven rock song is I wanted to kind of go back to my roots a little bit with this one. So that's what we wrote there. We've got some verses in there. And then the uh, the chorus is what has quickly become the hook. And here's where I need your help because uh, we're going to look at the arrangement here today. And I think that this hook goes to the start of the song. I wanted like an old school kind of build up and then hit the chorus. But the more I listen to this chorus, the more I think that this song would sound cool if it kicks straight into this chorus. Let's take a listen. So that to me is the bit that should probably come right at the start and then kick into the other part. So what we're going to do today is a bit of experimentation because the beauty of having GarageBand here and the beauty of a digital system is we don't have to chop up pieces of tape to try and rearrange a song. We can actually just grab sections and shimmy them on around to get this done. So my idea for this one, uh, first of all, the first thing we do before you do any major things like this is to close out so that you can save a version of your song. Now we're already up to version version 9 of this one. So I'm going to tap and hold and I'm going to duplicate out to get version 10 so that we can play around with version 10 for this one. Um, hello to the folks we've got here live, by the way. Uh, before we get started, let's say hello to people who uh, are kind enough to be here on the live show. If you're watching on the replay, don't worry, we love you just as much. Uh, please leave me a comment down below. Hello to Olivier Pura Vida, my friend. I uh, hope you're doing well. Uh, we've got Audible Video. G'day to you. Thomas Christ Guzzo. Hey, Will Lowe. Hey, Brad Example. Leela Lou Reality is here. We've got Guzzo. We've got Tremor Bear, who is here. Uh, Deep Gravity. Haven't seen you in a while, my friend. Hope you're doing well over there. Mr. Jerry Gomes, who does some amazing music. We've got Mark Bro. We've got Dave the Fox Fox. Hello to you, Peter. One of my wonderful Patreons. I hope you are doing well, my friend. And Jade Star. I need to be here to hear this song so I can get ideas for the drums. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, I, uh, I reached out to Jade yesterday and said, hey, you know how I'm doing this uh, January song? Uh, yeah, well, i got four days left on it, and I don't I don't expect you to play drums on it, but uh, you're welcome to. The offer's always there. So uh, after we do this, we're only here for an hour because then Thomas Christ is rocking us with You Rock. Uh, so we'll be here for the next 55 minutes or so getting this uh, up to the, sp the state where hopefully it's a demo version that I can ship over to Jade and she can try some drum ideas and then we can come back tomorrow and uh, bring it on all together. Hello, Goran Larson. Hope you are doing well as well, my friend. I think I saw Joe Glenn jumping on in there. Hello to you. Orchestra Eclipse is here. We got the whole gang. I hope you're all doing well. So let's get into the uh, nitty gritty of this. And if you could let me know, by the way, um, thank you to Jade who uh, encouraged me. I've gone full circle here, folks. I've gone all the way back to OBS. <laughs> so when I started live streaming, I used OBS. At that time, I was using a PC that was underpowered for it. It was clunky. I didn't have all the cool StreamYard features. But now, thanks to the OBS virtual camera that works really well on the Mac, I'm actually able to use OBS properly. So I actually have uh, not only my, my webcam here, um, I can go straight to my screen, I can go straight to a combination of two. I've got my iPad there alone and I've got my iPad and me. And yes, it's a very simple implementation at the moment, but it seems to be working. So uh, I hope that it's coming through okay. It seems to be good. This is our test run. So we'll see how we get along with this. But let's get into the song, shall we? <clears throat> and have a cough and have a drink, and then we'll uh, we'll crack in. So, 
Step one, what you may have noticed here is that we've actually gone in here and added sections. So this song was all one big section. I don't know who it was, but asked a couple of episodes ago, do you just, do you create sections first or do you put it all in one big section? Well, at the moment, it was in one big section, but you can see here I've chopped it up that I've got now I've got my lead in, I've got my intro, I've got verse, I've got chorus, I've got verse, I've got... Um, I don't know what that four bars is. I think it's a little bit of a, a, a little a l l l interlude. <laughs> Get your words out, Johns. And then we've got like the final big chorus there. So I'm actually going to create one more section in here just to, uh, to, to shimmy this around because I want to chop this first chorus in half because I want to start with half of a chorus. So what we're going to do, we're going to come to this section, section E, and we're going to go to the point where this is halfway through the chorus, which I believe is here. Go, Trevi. Yeah. So what we need to do for this is it's a little bit like you don't have to do this part, but I like to do it. I like to just split everything before I do my sections. It just means that we've got everything, all the audio in chunks, and it just makes our sectioning a little bit easier. So we're going to split all these down the guts like so. Boom. And this lead vocal bit here as well. And I think that's all the tracks that we have there. So what we actually want is we want this, this section E, or the first half of this section E to go to the front. But what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to add another eight bar section to add in here. And how we do that is if we go to our plus section here and we go to section E, you can see there that at the moment it's 18 bars. What we actually want is a new eight bar section to go in between that. And then we need to turn section E into 10 bars. So it sounds complicated. It's actually not that bad. So if we tap plus there, we've now got this section I. We can go to edit and we can drag this section I before section E and see how it creates us some space there to put this in. So the first thing we're going to do is go back, hit done, go back to our all sections so we can see everything. And all we need to do is grab all this. So if we draw a little line around this, we grab all the chunks that we need there and we just need to shimmy them across. So there you go. Boom, like that. And then we need to move all the rest of this over and then reduce the size of that section. So we're doing this here first so that we can cut this into two sections. Boom, there. And then we just need to make this section that was 18 bars, we need to drop that down to only 10 bars because we've split it in half. Bum, 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 bum. And because this is only demo audio at the moment, it's not going to be a problem. There's going to be a few little holes. You can see it's created a few little gaps and holes in there. We can fill those out. So all we need to do is sort of drag those out to fill them out. It'll be fine. But this gives us now the power that this new section I we created here. And yes, thank you, GarageBand. You don't allow us to uh, name our sections. So we just have to work with section letters, which is a bit of a pain in the balls. But what we can do is move this to the start. So if we wanted to see what this song is going to sound like with this at the very start, we just need to grab section I and shimmy it to the start. So we go to our sections here, we go edit, we grab section I, and after our lead in, we pop it there. And now it's, it, you can see it's starting to look a little bit, this is why I did my, um, my save out first, because it's starting to look a little bit complicated, because it's, uh, it's going to have little chunks of things around the place. Uh, but it, it should work. So let's, let's try this now. This is, our, this is just our lead in. So just four bars to give us some lead in, and then it should kick into our uh, chorus. And then I think we don't want the O's there just just at that point. We just we actually want this lead guitar back in here so that it kind of comes into a so when it goes from here to here yeah so we want that that lead guitar part which we only played in once so we'll just do this we'll copy and paste remember we're just doing our demo here we're just working through the arrangement so we can work out how it's going to sound together bump 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 paste it in there but yeah, I, I don't. I think this becomes a bit of an instrumental bit that then sort of complements the verse. So let's just see if we uh, get the the chorus, the hook here into our start. It's 
And I immediately think that that needs to actually be half of itself. Don't you reckon? So before it goes there, I think this actually needs to be half of what it is right now. So let's uh, let let's test that by uh, by chopping it out again. And uh, this is something that Jade talks about that many people, when you're arranging something, start with more and then pare it down to less. Because if you start with less and you try to add, you end up messing things up big time. But the 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 key in my experience so far uh, with all this songwriting caper is that you start with less and then you try to you start with more and then you pare it down and then you'll end up with something that's nice and tight. Ding. Uh, so C, now we only want to be four bars here. So what we should be able to do here is delete out all this caper. See ya. Goodbye. And then we want section C to drop down to four bars. We're really going to tighten this song up. So that's eight bars, four, eight, and our section C is going to be four bars there. And we'll go back to our all sections. And now we should have an arrangement that starts with our hook that has four bars of just jamming on some uh, lead guitar and then kicks into our verse, um, which will be a sort of a longer extended bit. And then we jump back into that chorus. And I think this is going to work better. But tell me what you think. Maybe we need to revisit it. But I think this is the way we're, the, the direction we're going. I've asked a few people that I trust and they say, uh, this is sounding better. So uh, let's take a listen to this as we have it now. Into that, yeah. right? Then it goes into that main jam hook, and then it's the final time. I've just had enough of oh, all your arrogance and all the other stuff. Wonder if you know. What the others say, or even if you care, I don't think you do. Don't treat the others like they don't even matter. So this is the part where we've got that second half of the chorus, yeah. <laughs> so uh, we're now probably going to have to do some work here because this is um the this one is where we want that longer chorus, and what I actually want is I want this to come in with the big, similar to the final chorus, where we've actually got the, um, the, the what are they called? The uh, harmonies. So instead of having that there, we're actually going to remove that entire second chorus bit. So we'll get ready here. So yeah. Goodbye. All right. So that's gone. And then we want to bring in this chorus section here. You've got an ego that drives me so crazy that I just... So I'll just find the end of that. So that's going to be the final chorus that does all of that business. But we need to split it down here so that we can just test out using this as our first chorus instead. Because we're actually going to add a chorus here. Because I like that hook so much, this is going to become the, the opening, the intro, if you like, and then the first chorus. And then we just need to find a way to uh, kind of embiggen it a bit for the last chorus, um, if that's going to be possible. And if that's a real word, it is, because we just made it up. All right, so this is going to be our chorus section. So we can just grab all of this now and bring it on over, because I reckon this is going to be the right side. Actually, no, it's not. You know why? Because we need to extend out this E, because we're going to do it the double. So the, that E that we carefully came and changed to uh, 10 bars, we now need to make this 16 bars so that it sits in here and has the right amount of space for this chorus to come on in. By the way, if you don't like doing all of this and you'd rather just do it in all big, one big thing rather than use sections, you can. But hopefully this will just show you that there is a way to do this. If you want to go with something like this, it'll just mean that you've got more control over things and you can try things out differently. So we've moved that. We also want to copy it because we do want to bring it back here for the big final chorus that we have here. So there's our arrangement now. So this is where we go from our, our intro, oh, sorry, our verse section into this chorus again. What the others say, or even if you care, I don't think you do. You've got an ego that drives me so crazy, but I just don't know how to quit. You think it's okay to treat me like a baby, and I just put up with it. You try 
trade the others by day Don't even matter And you're just the star of the show One day I'm hoping you're gonna learn your lesson Cause you got a toxic ego Oh no And what I want here is I actually think this needs to be a guitar solo here just for this section. So while it's doing this, just to create some variance, this is going to be that, that hook, that interlude bit again. But I think this bit becomes a guitar solo. So I'm actually going to rename it to remind myself. I'm going to rename this little clip to uh, to da, 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 solo, dolo, <laughs> yolo, solo. Because that'll just remind me that I want to play in a guitar solo in that bit when I go and continue layering it up. We then uh, we then go back into this bit and then into one final sort of verse section. You're oblivious. You don't have a clue. Why should you care? It's all about you. Go. You got an ego that drives me so crazy. So what we need in this final chorus, so now we've kind of built the chorus up a little bit more early, this final chorus has to really just rock through. So we may need to add a second lead guitar perhaps, maybe layer up another couple of doubles on the vocal or even a third harmony on that second time around chorus. So I've made a little bit of extra work for myself, but I think it's coming together. I think the arrangement is sitting a lot nicer than it did originally. So um, what I... Uh, what I've done here, so let's just let's just review. So we've got our four bar lead in here. We've then got a shortened version, and this is a, a technique that's used a lot in sort of rock and punk songs just to create some variety. So we have a short version of, whoop, we don't have that. We have a short version of the chorus here that just goes for the eight bars. We've then got our interlude, our four bars, which is our kind of instrumental hook. We've then got the verse here, which goes like is a longer verse. So it's a it's a two section verse. It's like goes for what, 18, uh, 16 bars. And then we kick into our chorus, which is a double chorus. So see how we're doing this? We've got like single chorus, double verse, double chorus, then interlude, then single verse, and then double chorus. So you start with the smaller chorus and the longer verse, and then you go to the longer chorus and the smaller verse. So it's keeping interest as you go through as we get there. Uh, we've got some comments coming in. So Forest of the Wolf says that you could um, uplift the last chorus also when you change the snare it on the, yeah tsh, do, tsh, do. there you go jade you're listening i think that's exactly right i think with, with um with this and again not telling jade how to suck eggs but i think that could actually work because it's like a post-punk kind of tune i think this final chorus instead of you got it. that could be like tsh, do, tsh, do, tsh, do. that could be like hitting that snare 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 kick snare kick snare kick snare kick snare kick snare kick so yeah the drums could play a massive part in building that final chorus you are spot on uh, now what do we have to do we have to save so let's save by tapping in the top left corner We've saved out our version 10. Save often, save frequently, save yourself a lot of freaking hassles, people. I'm telling you. It's worthwhile. So we'll come back here into the uh, into the track, and uh, now we know we've got a nice saved version. Version 10 is our new arrangement of this track. Now, uh, because we've got quite a bit of time here, we'll probably record in at least a couple of parts just to, uh, to fix up some of those bits, because now that we've changed things up, we probably need to do at least uh, the guitars, uh, so we can record in the guitars all the way through and I can learn how that song works and maybe we'll do a couple of vocals. But before we do that, let's just do a quick sanity check to make sure that this works all the way through. So if you've got feedback or comments as you go through, by the way, hello to Muhammad, hello to Ed Z, who has dropped on in here. Uh, who else did I see? Thought we had another visitor. Uh, thank you all for, for dropping by. Uh, Ian, well, uh, hello Ian, hope you're doing well. Where are you? There you are. There's, there's Ian. G'day to you all. <clears throat> all right, let's um let's give this one a spin all the way through. And by the way, the the, the actual start here, what I'm just what I'm thinking I'm going to go with at the very beginning here instead of it just going I want it to be a beer. So I want it to be a a, a pick scrape, not pick scrape, but a slide down, especially on the bass, but maybe the bass and the rhythm guitars go So just so that it has a little bit of something in there. Hey Dom Thatch, and hope you're doing well. So uh, let, let's listen to this through uh, and uh, see if this arrangement is going to work for you. And if you've got feedback and you're here live, let me know. And if you're on the replay, don't worry, we love you. Uh, you can you can drop uh, your feedback in as well. Uh, in the comments below and, and hit thumbs up if you're enjoying this, uh, this experience. If you're Learning some ideas that you might want to implement yourself, um, then hopefully that's that's the key. Not that you do everything that I do. I promise you that it's not always the best way to do things. But maybe you've learned a couple of things. And you're like, oh yeah, rearranging is actually not that hard. Uh, let's take a listen to this song. Get 
And percussion like some sticks. Click. Like on the beat. You're oblivious. You don't have a clue. Why should you care? It's all about the you. Go. You got an ego that drives me so crazy, but I just don't know how to quit. And uh, obviously we'll fix up the, uh, the ending there a little bit. Yeah, you were right. Uh, Bear said that the drums were buried in there a little bit. Yeah, totally. Yeah, and that's a good that's a good point um, that Forrest of the Wolf made about the 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 vocals. The I, I just like the I like the um I like the the harmony vocals so much that I kind of wanted them. So the, at the start here, we don't have it there. And originally in the first chorus, we also didn't have the harmony vocals in here. Mm, bah, 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 bah. It probably does need a cowbell, like tink, tink, tink. It actually needs more cowbell. Like I, I don't say that lightly because I know it's a meme, but I think it definitely needs a tink, tink, tink on the one, two, three, four. On the one and three, it needs something in there, which could just be a bell. Like it could just be the bell. If if Jay's playing drums to this, it could be like ting, 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 like something like that. Um, maybe. We'll see. We'll see what it comes to. Um, what was the other suggestions that we had that was good? So, yeah, um, the, it's the ting, 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 ting. Um, and Bella Cow. Bella O Cow. Uh, say the, yeah. So, I'm not sure about that. I'm not sure about the, the vocals. Or whether we just build it. Because I've got some ideas for, like, another layer of vocals at the end there. In fact, why don't we just... Um, while, we're, while we're playing about here. So, for this last chorus... Let's grab the mic. Let's grab the mic of destiny, the AKG D5. Oh, I've got too many chords here. I've got chords going everywhere. My my studio looks a lot better that you can see than it does in front of me right now because I'm experimenting at the moment. I'm trying out new things before I bet it down. That's a uh, a tip for young players is when you're, when you're testing things in the studio, don't worry about cleanliness and neatness until you know everything's in the right spot. Otherwise, you'll uh, spend a lot of time faffing about. No one wants to faff about, do they? Uh, right, so let's, um, let's listen to this chorus because I'm hearing in my head that there's another little one above there. So there's our chorus harmony. So we'll uh, duplicate that out there and we'll just rename this because renaming your tracks is good, folks. Chorus harmony two. Um, and uh, I'm just going to play the soloed because the idea I had in my head was just a little bit above it. You've got an ego that drives me so crazy but I just don't know how to quit. You think it's okay to treat me like a baby and I just put up with it. Yeah, something like that. You treat the others like they don't even... 
Maybe it even only comes in on that second one. But we'll we'll, put, we'll sing it all the way through here. I've got to get my words up here because I've forgotten my own lyrics. I only wrote them like a few days ago. I'm rushing through this song because because uh, <laughs> I'm lazy and I was doing not lazy, but I was doing other things all um all month. And then I got to the end and I'm like, no, I um I promised that um that I would do a song in January. So uh, I'm doing it. All right, so here's my words. I got my words up here. Let's uh, let's sing in this part. Uh, I'll bring I'll bring the rest of the track back in here. We will line us up. We will add the dummy. Oh, the dummy's on the wrong channel. I swear I need to have two dummy tracks. I need a dummy channel one and a dummy channel two because this is when I was doing guitars. So now we need dummy. And if you missed out on what the whole dummy track's all about, check out the last video. You'll uh, see what it's all about. So um, let's hit the record button and uh, record the, this uh, additional um, harmony vocal. It's all about you, call. You gotta make all the drives, make some crazy, but I just don't know how to quit. You think it's okay to treat me like a baby, and I just put up with it. You treat the others like they don't even matter, and you're just you, you, you. I missed that. So let's try that again from there. You. You treat the others like they don't even matter and you're just the star of the show. One day I'm hoping you're gonna learn your lesson cause you got a toxic ego. Oh no. Something along those lines, I believe. Um, so let's just uh, take a listen to those as they sound with just just the Vox, ma'am. Let's see if it's going to sit in there. You've got an ego that drives me so crazy, but I... So it's just starting as a double of the harmony, yeah? So we've got double of the harmony and double of the original vocal, just to really fill out the mix. You've got an ego that drives me so crazy, but I just and what don't I know even how to is, quit. Uh, Hand half left on the that you one. You think it's okay to treat me like a baby, and I whip. just put up with it. And then for the last part of the final chorus, you treat the others like they don't even matter, and you're just the star of the show. One day I'm hoping you're gonna learn your lesson, cause you've got a toxic ego. Oh no. <laughs> Gotta fix the end there. Uh, but as far as the concept go, I think I think that will work. Because I liked I like the point of yeah, building up. So every time the chorus is, so see what it does now? Now we've got the chorus at the very start, it's literally just the the single vocal singer the melody line. Yeah. Uh, okay. I, th I think that that's working. And then the second verse, we we build it up because build up is so important and, and variation between verses is so important. So then we got this one. You got an ego that drives me so crazy, but I just don't know how to quit. And then in our final, we do this. You got an ego that drives me so crazy, but I just don't know how to quit. It just keeps building. Every time we do a, a different chorus, it builds a bit more. And I will have to tweak the guitars and do a bit of automation and whatnot just to, to get them all sitting right. But I don't know. What do you think? Is it, uh, is it coming together? I'll, I'll do a... Um, I'll leave the vocal mic there because we'll jump back over to that. But I want to... I want to have some fun. I want to experiment with a um, with a guitar solo because I don't do many guitar solos. So here you go. For all the fun I make of guitar solos, uh, yeah, you'll uh, you'll you'll get to hear and see me do one. G'day, Darren Anderson. Speaking of guitar solos and uh, epic folks uh, up there in Queensland, hope it is not too warm for you, mate. Uh, the, Australia's weather is just nuts. It's almost like there's some sort of climate thing happening in the world, and uh, the climate's changing. Because it, uh, yeah, in the last week it's been like ridiculous humidity here in Adelaide and now we've had thunderstorms last night and there's massive storms, uh, we've had flooding, flooding right through the uh, the state, uh, we've had uh, major events up in Queensland and New South Wales and Victoria is now about to get a big, uh, big storm, so yeah, it's all happening, it's all happening mate. 
but it's all right. We're a resilient bunch here in Australia. Yeah. Two years ago, this time it was bushfires. This year, it's like floods. Didn't we have that in our thing of droughts and flooding rains? So yeah, it's an, it's an Australian thing. All right. Let's uh, let's get our guitar happening now, shall we? <clears throat> so I'm just going to take this automation off here because that was from yesterday's video where I was playing around with automation. So we don't actually need any of that. Look at, oh, look at what it does. When you chop up the sections like this, it creates like an automation point at every point that you've chopped it. So uh, yeah, we've got this crazy automation going on here now, but we don't need it at all. So we'll turn it off and come on out. We'll turn off that one while we're there. We don't need, the, we don't need that on. We need to be able to adjust those uh, volumes. <laughs> Jerry Jones is saying shred it. Yeah, uh, it's been a while since we've done any guitar solo. So where was my little solo spot? I, I, I put a big sign there, didn't I? To say solo. There it is, solo. So that's where I want to solo it. So at the moment, it's just doing the standard lead bit, which is... So that's our regular riff that sits in the mix. So I think um, as we lead out from, from this part... But this be like something like that. All right, let's um let's play with it. Bill saying I'd love to take uh I'd love to do a one take lead guitar part. Oh yeah, okay. I mean that, that's the thing. Maybe we'll do. something along those lines let's just see if it's going to work because it's going to have that da 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 but um just a variation on that so we'll uh we'll give myself some space here we'll give a few bars of space um so it's like all right that, that's that's the concept let's see if it's going to work for us Start there was no good, but the concept's okay. Don't put your pick in your mouth, people. So. Maybe we go. Maybe we go up at the start, just for something different. Okay. Oh, one day I'm hoping you're gonna like the last second. Yeah, round about that. <laughs> we'll have one more crack at it. I don't think I'm going to get it here with all the pressure. Man, I'm sweating onto my guitar here. Um, all right, we'll, we'll try one more time, and then uh, we'll see how we go. Oh, one day I'm hoping you're gonna learn your lesson, cause you've got a toxic ego. I think it's I think it's somewhere in the um it's in the ballpark, isn't it? It's it's kind of what we want. It's going to give me the idea of what we want to go with. All right, so we need to just uh, use our again the magic of GarageBand's uh, ability to bring ourselves out of there. So uh, let's say this. Yeah. 
you care, it's all about you go. You got an ego that drives me. I reckon that's a, that's that's kind of in the ballpark, isn't it? That's a little bit. It's got that eighties vibe. Like I'm like I'm no slash clearly, but I think it's got that kind of. 80s rock and roll, bit of hair rock cro- crossed with some Blink-182 kind of post-modern punk stuff. <laughs> or maybe that's just a giant wank. Hey, Vortex Mobile Music Pro, hope you're doing well, mate. Uh, we'll throw that down. Now, someone, I can't remember who, claim it if it's you, had the idea of adding some acoustic guitar as like a bed, like just playing like a, some strumming chords acoustic behind. I deliberately haven't because I lean, acoustic is my crutch and I lean on it too heavily. So uh, let me know if you think that that's a thing that we should do or not. Um, now, I want to I get the bass down. Main reason is that um, Jade Star is going to do some drums on this. We need, we need to have an idea of exactly what the bass is going to be. And now that the song's changed up a little bit, uh, I think I need to re-record a bass part. So I'm actually going to duplicate out my bass. Duplicato. And uh, mute out. Actually, what we'll do is we'll listen through with the bass a little bit higher, just so I can remember what parts I played for the bass. So the... Uh All right, that's kind of cool. All right. So it's, it's basically following the guitars, but it's it's uh, the, the rhythm of the bass is important so that it can um, sit in the zone. So um, let's uh, let's uh, turn this back on. Do we have um, do we have bassage? Uh, no bass tone coming through because we don't have it soloed. There we go. That'll that'll tell where the the boom chick boom chick chick boom chick boom chick chick boom chick boom chick chick boom chick uh, goes in there. Um, acoustic under some a cappella in the last chorus, then release the guitars. Yeah, it could it could go down to that. That's a really good idea. Mm, okay. Uh, yeah. Thanks, Ed. Yeah, I think it's um I think it's it's a good good combination. Good mix of uh, yeah, rock and grungy punky. Yeah, I hope I hope so. Seems to be coming together. Um, all right, let's um let's get this bass happening. Uh, so I just have the bass turned up here while we play. So the start actually, let's tune the bass. Not the bass is going to tune too much, but oh, it is a little out of tune. There's the E. Come on. Nothing worse than an out of tune bass line, then you, everything sounds wrong after that. Something like that. All right, so um, the. Let's just remind myself of what the bass part is for the main set. Yep, so it's literally just that. Let's see if we can just see if we can just record this part in, shall we? We'll um, mute the old bass. Little drag on the bass notes. All right, we'll do it from there. Let's, let's give this a crack, shall we? We'll just do this first um, chorus part. Um, I'll turn, yeah, is that bass a little bit low? We need to bring the input up on the bass a bit, I think. Uh, so I'm just going to drop my inputs at uh, one o'clock. I'm going to bring it, whoop, no, stop. 
to one o'clock over here. I'm going to bring it around to two o'clock for the bass because uh, guitar bass usually needs a little bit more guts than the guitar does. So we'll just um, we'll delete that one out and we'll redo it here. Uh, just so that we can hear it a little better. Um, there we go. Yeah, uh, Darren Anderson, Cowbell. We, we were talking about that before you got here, mate. And Cowbell, yes. So that's that's going to be uh, <laughs> that's going to be the Jade's responsibility to do something on the drums on like the bell of a ride or or a legitimate Cowbell that we need. To add. And we think it's like the the one and the three. Tink tink tink. Should we try it? We'll do it. We'll get this bass laid down, and we've got 20 minutes left before Thomas and you rock. So uh, we'll get this bass laid down, and then why don't we try and add some cowbell just to see, because I, I think you're right. We need more cowbell. If someone can remind me where a cowbell is in, um, in the, I think one of the drum kits has one, so someone can help me out with that. Uh, all right, let's record. Who's got an ego that drives me so crazy that I just don't know how to quit? I miss that bit. All right, so let's um, let's record it in from here. Yeah. All right. Let's try this one. Record. I don't think you do. You got an ego that drives me so crazy that I just don't know how to quit. You think it's okay to treat me like a baby, and I just put up with it. All right, so we need to then go back into, we need uh, a complementary bass line for our guitar solo. All right, let's try this again. Two. Oh, oh, no. You don't have a clue Why should you care It's all about you Cause you got an ego That drives me so crazy But I I like, I like the little I like the little high note run What do you reckon? And then back to the Alright let's just try A little variation On this final chorus On the bass It's right. all about you Cause you got an ego That drives me so crazy That's a harder part to play than I thought it was. All right, let's try it. One more. All about you, go. You got an ego that drives me so crazy, but I just don't know how to quit. You think it's okay to treat me like a baby, and I just put up with it. You treat the others like they don't even matter, and you're just the star of the show. And hold the notes. 
never let go. When you're at the end, let it run out. You'll be absolutely astounded at how much outward outro time you need. And I realized I was talking over that and like my, uh, the, the, sometimes your pickups will actually pick up because that's what they're designed to do, your voice. So you can probably hear me talking through the end of this. That's not too bad. <laughs> On my Les Paul, because I've got the humbuckers, they work like little microphones and they, uh, they pick up a lot of what I say. So I'll end a big guitar part and then I'll just be like, blah, 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 blah. All right, let's go back to these bass bits where I cut in and make sure that they are working because we did it in chunks. And then I think we've got a decent bass part that we uh, will be ready to go over to Jade. Yep, that works well without our next transition. All right, that one's a bit clicky because there's that little bit at the start there. So we might need to just shimmy that across a bit. We'll just bring it one notch, and this one one notch. That's how you get rid of those little clicks. All right, it's a little bit clicky still. We'll fix it. We'll fix it in the mix. We'll find the exact spot to go to. And same there. We'll fix it in the mix. All right. What do you think of that? I kind of like it. Turn the monitoring off. Uh, let's find some. Um, let's find some some cowbell. Hey, the cookie. I hope you're doing well. Uh, thank you, my friend. Appreciate you. Isabella has cowbell. Not the best sounding bell, but might work. All right. Let's give Isabella a crack, shall we? Uh, so Isabella's kit. We will. Uh, what do we need? We probably need to try and find what kit does Isabella use? Because we need to use the regular drums, I reckon. Percussion. Is I think it's the Latin kit, or is it the coffee shop kit? Um, I think it's this one. Oh yeah. Maybe we'll bring the tone up a bit. Can we add some? Uh... Yeah. All right. All right. So maybe like the second half of the chorus, or is it just the final chorus? Let's just try it all the way through the final chorus, and because it it's going to be easy. In fact, you know what? We can cheat. We can use the beat sequencer on this sucker, can't we? <laughs> Uh, so it's a Latin kit, beat sequencer, alright, we'll delete that. Uh, so beat sequencer, because why am I going to try and like tap this in a bunch of times when I can just use the beat sequencer? Drums, beat sequencer, uh, oh wait, save, save often, save frequently, do your saving thing. By the way, thanks Vortex, Mobile Music Pro, thanks for the super chat, I missed that before, I appreciate you my friend, you're awesome, you rock. Uh, so we need, not the modern 808, 808. <laughs> we won't be using any modern 808 in this one, just quietly. <laughs> Boom. Will that work with the song? You got an ego that drives. Maybe not. Um, all right, so we need to go to a blank one. Boom, 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 boom. I haven't used the beat sequencer in a hot minute, I've got to tell you. And I hate that the uh, blank is, oh no, it's all the way to the left. I knew it was all the way one way. <laughs> I just need a blank button and you've got to go to all the way to the right now. Like too many. I don't think they thought that they'd have that many um, presets when they got this around. All right, so there we go. We need uh, just the cowbell. Oh, why is the cowbell not one of the included instruments? Surely that's what everyone wants. There we go, cowbell. More cowbell. So it's just going to be... It's actually going to be on every beat, isn't it? That's what we want. All right, so where do we want to try this? Hey, it's Jamie Mallander. How you doing, my friend? Uh, all right, let's um, let's get this set up. By the way, Thomas Christ is uh, live in uh, 10 minutes' time with you, Rock, and I won't go late, so he can actually start on time. Uh, we'll just get the rest of this done, and then I'm going to shimmy this over to Jade Star, who's going to throw some drums. And when we meet again, uh, which will probably be tomorrow uh, on the late show, because uh, Mike, I'm doing, I'm on Mike's channel tomorrow, so we'll probably do a live stream after that, after Jade does her interview and after Mike's show. Um, then uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll we'll come back and we'll play around with this a little more. Hopefully finish it, uh, get get the demo completely done, and then start on the mixing. All right, uh, so we'll go to the beat sequencer, and let's just uh, let's just record this in, and we'll, we'll record it in live and see what it sounds like. Uh, can you up the velocity of that beat? Yeah, maybe the third accent, the velocity goes higher. That's a good idea um, from our friend Ed. Uh, I've got to remember, <laughs> got to remember how to do this now. Velocity, yeah. So it'll it'll instead do like a bit of this. I like that idea. Good, good job, Ed. Um, this is what I, this is what I pay you the big bucks for. Wait, what's that? You pay me? Oh no. Okay. 
<laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Appreciate you. Um, all right. Uh, what is this? This is the Beat Sequencer uh, there. If you haven't played with the Beat Sequencer in GarageBand, um, jump over to, just search my name, Pete John's Beat Sequencer, and I'll show you everything and how to use it. It's amazing. Uh, it doesn't replace a real drummer, doesn't d do everything, but if you need something simple like this, it works a treat. It means you don't have to do all that manual programming. So you, you'll see how it works in a minute. Let's hit record. All about you, call. You got an ego that drives me so crazy. We only need two bars of it, because then guess what? We can loop it. We can loopy loop it. All right, let's turn it up for starters, because it needs to cut through the mix a little bit more. And let's see if this cowbell is going to work. More cowbells getting hot in here, folks. All right, we'll just loop it all the way to the end, and then split it off where we don't want it. Uh, I think it'll split. We'll probably play one more cowbell on that very last note, and then it can split off just there. Boom, boom, boom. Split it. Do it, give it, kill it, delete it, uh, and then get rid of the rest of it. See ya. Didn't want to be ya. So uh, we'll just make sure it's coming in okay here. Needs more clank. Yeah, it's, it's, the tone's not quite right, but we can um we can change it up afterwards. So can you treat me like a baby and I just put up with it. Yeah, so we might need, I won't spend some time on it now, but yeah, it definitely needs to be there, and it probably needs some more verb, obviously, and a bit of like that, uh, the echo to go with the rest of the track, and it probably needs to, to EQ it to give it a little bit more of that treble, just to boost it through, and it doesn't need any of, well, it doesn't need a bit of bass, but we can probably shift the bass down a little bit, like, let's just, uh, let's play with this for a minute. Yeah. Just a little bit more air at the top end there. Let's try it in the mix, shall we? I like it. It definitely needs to go there. It'll, it'll take a little bit of sh 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 niggling. That's not a word. Um, but it'll take a little bit of uh, effort there. Let's just um, let's add our FX track so that we can uh, remove this down a little bit because we need we need a little. Oh, we already have. We just didn't have it enabled. All right. We'll use the we'll use the FX hack here. Recording. Like All right. Just so that we can have that reduction in volume because we've got everything a bit too loud. We'll play around with that um, when we record the final version because now that I've got everything in its spot, we're almost ready to to do our final version of everything here. Um, but um, do I do one more vocal take? Do I have time for one more? Yeah. I'm going to record the lead vocals all the way through and uh, we can have a bit of a listen as we go through while I do these because... Um, yeah, the, the... Hang on, we've got vocals verse and vocals chorus. Now, we don't... Do I need separate processing on those? I don't know, but I'm going to... I'll mute both of those out because I'm going to sing both of them on the one track and we'll just... Blah, 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 blah. See, Ashley, thanks for coming by. Um, yeah, Thomas, if you're hanging around, Thomas, put a link to You Rock, if you don't mind, um, so that we can uh, we can send folks over there straight after this show. Get yourself all prepared because uh, if you like yourself some indie music and some rock and tunes, uh, you want to check out Thomas's show. Uh, let's just check this is working. Check. One, two. Uh, we'll turn the volume up so I can hear myself. Ba 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 ba. She's got it. Is that not coming through super loud enough? Let's just do a quick uh, record test. You've got an ego that drives me so crazy. Let's just uh, make sure that that's going to come through at the right sort of level. Oh, yeah, it's not too, too bad. Probably needs to... I'll, I'll bring it up. Check, 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 check. She's got an ego that drives me so crazy. All right, I'm going at about one and a half just to make sure we've got enough uh, volume coming in here. Uh, all right, because this may be... This probably won't be the final vocal, but you never do know. You never know. You never know how things are going to roll. Uh, let's get our dummy track going on here. Uh, dummy needs to be on channel two now. I'm t oh, it is on channel two already. That's right, because I didn't bother changing it back when I did the other one. Uh, do, 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 do. Yeah, maybe cowbell. We don't know. There you go. You Rock is up next. There you go. Tom, uh, Thomas has put the link right there in the chat if you're here live. If you're not, there is a, there's a, well, I'll put a link uh, in the, the replay, and then you can go catch the replay of that. All right, let's, um, let's make sure that we don't have everything soloed. Boom, 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 boom. 
and uh, let's just record uh, record a bit of a take through of this one, shall we? Oh, did that again. We'll try it again. Do, 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 do. We need dummy track and we need the vocal track recording. We need that one selected and we need to uh, we'll bring it on up here so we can see where our bits are. <laughs> you heard me. And we'll record this one. You got an ego that drives me so crazy but I just don't know how to quit. Check, check, ba, 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 ba. Why is that not why is that not coming through? What am I doing wrong? Check. One, two, three. Uh, hmm. Oh, because I've got... What have I got soloed? Why is it greying out like that? Check. One, two. Oh, because it's, it's muted. muted. No. <laughs> I'm special. All right, let's try that one more time with feeling. You got an ego that drives me so crazy But I just don't know how to quit You think it's okay to treat me like a baby And I just put up with it Wonder if you know no, I've got the wrong words <laughs> That's right. I thought I might have the wrong lyrics there. Let's try that one again. It's the final time. I've just had enough of your arrogance and all the other stuff. Wonder if you know what the others say Or even if you care, I don't think you do Cause you've got an ego that drives me so crazy But I just don't know how to quit You think it's okay to treat me like a baby And I just put up with it you treat the others like they don't even matter And you're just the star of the show One day I'm hoping you're gonna learn your lesson Cause you got a toxic ego You're oblivious, you don't have a clue Why should you care, it's all about you Cause you got an ego that drives me so crazy But I just don't know how to quit You think it's okay to treat me like a baby And I just put up with it you treat the others like they don't even matter And you're just the star of the show One day I'm hoping you're gonna learn your lesson Cause you got a toxic ego Oh no, oh no Or there or thereabouts. The the one thing that I did hear in there, as we'll save out, just to make sure that everything's uh, captured, because we've got one more minute here. Thanks for hanging out, folks. Thanks for, I hope you enjoyed this. Oh, I'm a sweaty mess here. Um, but uh, we'll uh, we'll jump on over. Thank you, Darren. Uh, cheers, Jack. Thanks for dropping on by. Bus, car, tech. Thank you for being here. Uh, thank you, Bill Nemeth. How you going? Oh, less, uh, less picking more high bends. Yeah, I think I need to... You're right. I think that solo needs a few more of the high bends. The one thing I'm thinking is to really bring it down, I'm thinking that um, this, we, we go with no drums in this section here. And Jade, you can obviously, when you're doing your drums, you can um, give this uh, whatever, whatever treatment you think. But I think that just to get a really big, we can go with no drums and maybe even no bass. Like, so maybe here... You're oblivious, you don't have a clue Why should you care, it's all about you Cause you got an ego that drives And then like, ba 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 doom Yeah, that, that's, that's kind of the, the thing I'm thinking there 
All right. Uh, well, not only did uh, did that work successfully with the whole setup here, which I'm thankful for, uh, it was, as Mark said, it was a lot of fun. Uh, thank you, Thomas Christ. Uh, head on over to Thomas Christ's channel because in about 10 seconds, he's going to be rocking your world with you rock. Uh, thank you, Ed. Thank you, uh, thank you, Guzzo. Thank you, uh, Mobile Music Pro. Uh, for, thank you, Vortex. Thank you, Leela. Thanks, everybody. Uh, as we say at the end of every show, please be kind to yourself, be kind to others, keep creating, and I'll see you next time. Head on over to you rock on Thomas Christ channel right now. I'll see you there and I'll see you back here tomorrow where we can hopefully finish off this track. Bye for now.